Has it packed out? Beast Mode takes over. Beast Mode in field to Atomic and to Die for oh, keeps it out. Steve. Beast Mode will go for a second and he has turned it in. 1 0. That looked like a great save to force one extra shot from G2, but so often there is one extra shot. Um, Sweaty looks like he thought that was going to bounce up and. Uh, you know, maybe Stateless knowing now with a chance to get something started. That's a dangerous bounce off the back corner. Demo as well, but G2 always have that extra player back. And it's a counter-attack from G2. 2-0. Limitless. Overstep the mark. G2 just looking so fluid at the moment. Beast Mode already waiting for it. Knew exactly where the pass was going to be. And there is the stat padding. Didn't exactly need to be secure. You're going to assume that most of your air dribbles are getting challenged successfully by G2. So you need a follow-up. Surely somebody. There you go. On here. Yeah, G2. Demo. Goal for 3 0. And game one is going exactly according to plan for them. We've mentioned a few times game differential does, of course, matter in the Swiss format. So they're trying to win 3 0 here. In the series, same for G2. Not even that close to getting through to top eight. There is a long, long process to get through. Oh, shot. This is feeling longer and longer for Limitless. But for Limitless, as you mentioned, getting a game is the big priority here. Because I do believe they are coming into this as the lowest seed since yeah. they are playing against G2. If they can take yeah. at least one win, they would then go. We've also got matchups like Oxygen versus BDS. Um, Oxygen might be coming in here carefree, no pressure this time around. Uh, looks like G2 are going to farm a little bit more statistics, so Daniel making it 5 0. Um, for the early part of this series, though, early part of this game, I should say, it was. Uh, quite an impressive stand by Limitless, who are causing G2 a couple of problems with their air dribbles. Hold on a second, where did the die bar come from? That looked like it's going to be another G2 1 0. It might still be. It will. Daniel again on the scorecard. But these saves from the die bar are impressive. It seems to have been part of the identity of every single G2 squad that we've ever seen. Just how free flowing they are. Ooh. Once they get offensive pressure. Who did that? We need to find out. We need to investigate who didn't power rank G2 yeah. number one. Wait, Punk. I, I, Ibs, I know you're listening back there. You know goal, who that was. You can check up on it as G2 make it 2-0. Looking comfortable. That's a good finish. I mean, Snowy knocked that into the back corner, making it difficult for Daniel to just two are on the road to another clean sheet. I'm just saying, we do have the Falcons. Just out of the corner of my eye, warming Oh! Up. Oh, they have got oh. it! Well, oh, there's one! G2 in shambles. What a pass by Sweaty to die for oh, pre -jump. pre jump! That is disgusting! <laughs> he just slotted it past him with a pre jump. What a goal by Limitless. Now they need a kickoff strike to go their way. Only two seconds means they probably have to hit it. Fakes are not going to be effective in this scenario. Yeah, they, okay, they've tried a point blank range fake with a, a close streak behind it. It's worked. They're into the air. This is a real pre -jump? jump. Another pre jump. Will it work? No, Limitless. Trying. Are you changing away from two or sticking with me? Oh, hold on. Let me update you. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm not sticking with you, Shogun. I'm going Gibbs. <laughs> Limitless with another early goal. He scored two in a row. What a pass middle by to die for. G2 actually panic. And then Sway slots it underneath the bouncing atomic. I'm so happy for Limitless. I'm starting to become more and more of a question. It's a huge, like, too high, but not too high for Atomic. Too high for the goal. Too high for the goalkeeper. Atomic gets to the end of it and ties the game. It's just one of those things for Limitless. I they just don't seem prepared for just how well G2 can hit the ball sometimes. I mean, that's time. Here's the time. Here's yes! the time. Low 50 again. Excellent. That's exactly what we want. It almost worked. I, I promise it almost worked. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have promised you that was a good idea. I, I, hey, listen, you can't be too results based with your analysis in Rocket League just because they got scored on. How far are Limitless willing to go? That was quite a, a dive in. Oh, yeah, this God. is where it goes wrong for you because Daniel will turn on the style. 3 1. Oh, Daniel has just played that so perfectly. Chip into the middle, off the wall, and then a pre flip to shoot it into the open net. That's. Big step in the right direction. G2 are just a different level. Oh, hold on a second here. Oh, what, what? a jump by Sweaty! What a hit! Oh, Gibbs is right, they got at least three goals, but look at the power Sweaty just generated. That is such a, a technical, awkward air roll shot off the wall. Top bins. And they're back with it. Final chance for Limitless, or they are going to be sent to the zero one round. And that will drop too far away from Limitless. G2 have got the job. The heavy favorite we even saw in that progressive fan boat. Lots of people recognizing. Oh, and already it starts early. You can see, though, did not expect this second 
touch. Killers fakes high, goes low. That time he keeps going. Maxu tried to take the touch. Did not take long at all to get one on the board for Team Falcons. And now another headed towards that net as well. Pinched all the way downfield. TRK gets credit. 2-0, and the ball just keeps rolling. You saw Vert was trying to control the ball down to the ground, but, but that pass was a little telegraphed. And TRK, it was a slow shot. They TRK had to dodge the demo. He collects the ball, and that was an all-in play from Gladiators. Yeah, they went all in. Vert trying to chase down TRK, and he just could not catch up. And as a result, wide open net behind him. He's Stretching to it, you can see everyone. Blow on boost for Gladiators. Max, who dives in, can't even get the touch. There's the fake. Oh, I mean, they're already down. But Team Falcons make sure they're out as well. My goodness, this fake, brutal. Look at that from Killers. Ooh. I mean, that's just impossible. To, I mean, Max can't do anything anyways. He's sitting on the ground with no boost. Here's net. Three seconds. And nothing else brewing for presumably either side. This will eventually get to the ground. Killers wants one more. TRK already in the air, but the pass too strong. And it seems like it will end 4-0. Let's we'll see if Gladiators can just add one more to the pile. They cannot. So Team Falcons dominant. Gladiators can do much with this little bit of pressure infield pass. Rawas, the give and go to TRK. Textbook give and go. That was a thing of beauty. TRK opens the scoring again. He had a hat trick in game one. Better game. They've been much more capable defensively. But there's the passing. The passing continues to pick Gladiators apart. And it's TRK there to take the shot again. Rawas diming TRK up. Puts that hood or the ball right on TRK's hood. Someone who had killers in the uh, fantasy in London. Whoever is, whoever's picked TRK is going to be feasting at the end of round one. Ross has added another off the kickoff. Just picked that one right off of Virtuoso. Let the ball, the first touch, get way too far away from him. And yet again, Falcon. when the ball settles, it will be Gladiators nil and Falcons at least seven as we go to game three and a must win for Gladiators to keep this opening series alive and prevent the Falcons from a clean sweep in the opening round. Maybe one on the scoreboard. Blocked out? No, Maxu's gonna lose that and now Falcons will just decide how much they wanna toy with the opposition. Shot on, blocked away. And how about Team Falcons, James? At least seven to the good, that's where it will go. Didn't go in. And just catching the bottom of the crossbar and that forced Rawas to make an adjustment. This one headed right back though. Rawas has another as yet again, Gladiators. There's not much they did wrong here. It's just though had his pocket picked. It's it's every time. I think Gladiators, their team Falcons, they are saying, we're just gonna chase the ball. We really don't care. We're not gonna fall for uh, any fakes because we're just gonna win. We're faster. And you can try to fake it, but then I'll just blast it downfield and score. And, and, you know, this is Team Fountains now just walking all over. And that ball, self-pass from Killers, will fake it through to Rawas, who fakes it, wraps oh. around, slight touch. Stop it. And the power through. Killers gets credit for this goal. This, I mean, it looks like Gladiators is a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> and Team Falcons are playing with their food. Four and two-thirds. TRK roll it up. Killers is already there. Had to slow it down, and he'll just gently guide that ball home, and Falcons add a fifth. TRK up there. And, and, and we've seen Team Falcons do this so much, as they will have them and make that play. Team Falcons already in the series. We've seen them with some very bold fakes. The infield passing is there. Uh, it's, it's a highlight reel, and also, just looking at the, the fantasy numbers on this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you're not getting much in the way of saves on either side. Wave was actually the first one to take a tier one player out of the uh, fantasy as Ross adds yet another to the tally. His fourth goal of the series. My goodness, Stax. This... Seven zip. They're just running up the numbers. And the thing is, I bet even in this game, Team Falcons are going to try. 
What would you rather have? Would you rather give up the goal for the Brazil or keep the perfect sweep? I would. I do not want to get perfect. Sweep. Okay. Well, you, well, you're gonna. You're not gonna get a Brazil anymore, anyways. DRK, finally, you know, does something in this game. And I mean, the, eighth goal for Falcons. The, the, I, that is how hard they're trying. There's only 20 seconds. Uh, narrowly gave up the perfect sweep. Well, this ball touches down. Unless it somehow ends up in the Falcons' net. It is a perfect sweep at the World Championship for Team Falcons. Four, three, and then eight. Online, which actually worked. <laughs> they had their best finish of the split. This is already looking pretty rough for them. Itachi off the backboard. Perfect slot with the double tap. And it's 1 0 to the debate. Hear them roar just to our left hand side. Juicy gets it over. And the moment you saw that first touch, you already knew it was over and done yeah. with. There was no way Itachi was not scoring. Here in the midfield, by any means necessary. There's a good chance to do so, actually. Has it gone too far, though? Yes, it has. Itachi just knocks it into the ground in the back corner risk anything let's just you know play discipline defense in the back corner as for g2 same thing let's just get back with everybody and then win one nil hey why not it's actually <laughs> to score again and it's juicy again with the assist it's a brilliant pass into the middle by juicy and he was kind of covering it as well if emphasis is thinking about jumping he would have to fly past juicy one nil. all right let's see will it happen it's a good chance to score actually i've never rooted against you more. oh they've done it <laughs> Not only is it the end of Shogun's 1-0, 1-0, 1-0 dreams. Super Lucky wasn't involved. <laughs> He's on the backboard to take, take it away from him. The real question as well. Oh, good catch by Fiber. Oh, he's not got any help. It's going to be another goal for Gentlemen. It's initially, this is actually a very hard touch to make. The control here was impressive to keep it that close. But he panicked. He thought it actually was closer, flipped into it. Nobody was there to help him out. Two, where defensive touches initially look pretty good, and then a panic touch comes right afterwards. Gentlemates looking to go up. Oh, three, what? Strike. Yes, they do. It's actually put over the shoulder of the goalkeeper. It's all about placement, all about patience for Itachi on that plate. Let Fiber overcommit into the net. There's nothing he could do after the shot goes behind him. Every single goal went into the net himself, but went a bit wayward. Pioneers dropping to 0 2 in the series. Gentlemates. Winning by one goal in game one behind it. It's like a safe fake that they go for. They never play for the risky fake. They're always right behind it. Oh, what bump. Juicy's just taking lots points for that. Let's away. Seiko will get the goal. Look at Juicy in the front of your screen there. He's just going to pan in. Just clipped Amphis. Amphis would have had that overhead. Amphis looking to get the ball into the backboard. Full sends by the whole team. They're all just trying to create a chance, but there's nobody backing up. The third man position. Can't have to keep it up. No, it's into the ground. Gentlemen's 3 0. Opportunity for Secret that Alpha snuffed out. Now Zen takes charge. Nobody home, and Radosin scores. What a game Radosin is having. To get that block and now to punch that goal in. Vitality earned that one, and they had. Amada, nothing in the tank. Got it over to Brad, but KV1 had to dive in as well. Final score should be 2-0, and it will be. Radosin adds another. Radosin racking up the goals in these final seconds. And this one will be a fun one for the analysts to break down. The game was so close. Team Secret made some good saves themselves. There was a big save by Brad where it was a similar situation that uh, Radosin was in, where it was just him left, had to make the stop, was able to make it. But really, play of the game, in my mind, Stacks, had to be that isolation ben. save from Radosin. You saw the demo come through. There was two. Kept it close with Vitality in game one. They were in it right until the very end. Stay close, you can win a game. And Mata scores seven seconds in after that lengthy timeout. And this was so good from KV1. KV1 with the light touch collects the ball, and his whole job was to even trying to drive over on that mid boost, hoping it would spawn for him, but just couldn't find it. Now Radosin, the lead blocker, paves the way for the tie. Who else do you call? Zen. 
Get in the last touch. Radosin doing a lot of the work. He wanted to be able to set Mata up for that counterattack. There's the demo through the smoke. Alpha, he doesn't have any boost to follow this up. He can't get down to it. And KV1 wins it in overtime. 14 secret. It turns out to be a short OT after the demo just across midfield. And KV1. Cality will be on the attack. Oh, Radosin going to take it himself. Calls his own number and plants it through. Radosin strikes again. Uh, and then you get, this was automatic. You'll love that. The little alley-oop to yourself off the backboard. Oh, he left it for Brad, but once again, Brad oh, one turned one. away at midfield. Now he's got to make oh, up for it on the defensive oh. end, and he can't. Zen, oh, what a play. Zen slows it down so much in the air. kv wants panicking. Tries to race to it, but Zen predicted that challenge coming. He positions his car so Are gonna salt away game number three. One went away from dispatching Team Secret here in the first round. And that will officially do it. Team Vitality denying that goal at the buzzer. You don't want to give him the ball. If you're Team Secret, don't give him the ball. But at the same time, we just saw Zen burn him as well. And now we see Zen do it again. Vitality, they see the finish line, and they're starting to sprint. Vitality strikes first. Team that scored first in every game. Put all the pieces together, what a redirect out of Zen. That Mata up to the task. Oh, another clever play, Redosin! Have a field day! Redosin, the MVP for Vitality this game, Alpha. A cheeky little double off the corner, feeding it into the middle. But Radosin is there. Game one, two nothing. Game three, two nothing. Game four, it's not a repeat, I promise. It's just the same thing over and over again. Vitality, three shutouts as they take it 3-1 over Team C. A massive factor oh. and almost the first goal. It's going to be a counter attack down the other end. And no, Tors can't get back. Probably should have been 1 0 power. Gen G straight down the other end. It's harsh lines. You're so near to getting the opening goal. In the blink of an eye, you've conceded it. Well, I would say, I mean, Power and OC have come under some criticism recently for, for letting their heads drop in general, right? Uh, you know, they're, they're laughing about that first goal going against them. It's a good sign, if you ask me. I mean, oh, that's less of a good sign. Well, that's that's, a, that's, that's a, a bad sign, I yeah, would say, if anything. Yeah, I could tell that you were just staring into my eyes. Then, <laughs> <of the back laughs> yeah, just... I saw you look shocked because I was looking like, oh no, what have I missed? It's that's what I missed. build on uh, dropping the first goal. <laughs> well, they've conceded two, and that's not career Torsos has had. Being an OCE forever, it seems. Yet another, mate. Oh, sorry, yet another world championship. The first killer shoots, and first killer gets it into the top corner. Just can't give him space like that. You can see Banana Head, no boost with the clear. Jack read it instantly. And there's the three man pass play. Everyone sitting so high for Gen G. That's the confidence you need in game number Most literally in that first goal, the complete counter attack. And what it will result in is a comfortable 3 0 win in game one for Gen G Mobile One. At all in this game. Genji might be about to get another one. Apparently, Jack fakes it out towards first killer. There he is. And that's 1 0. You can see Torsos in massive trouble in net. Jack with 100 boost gets the beat over the top of Fever. And you can just see Torsos. He's got a wait. He knows a fake's probably coming through. But first killer, too good with the dunk. His time back in league play. You had a whole week to prep for a side. So it was all about how do you counter the other team. There's the first goal for Fever. As we said, power. Out of nowhere, maybe we just need to start talking about how good Chrome is to see this structure crumble. Yeah, as soon as apparently Jack missed that touch from Banana Head, I don't think his teammates were expecting it. They've been so solid in the 50 kickoff after the first goal goes in. So it's important stuff here for Power. Might get another one as well. Banana oh, Head comes alive! Okay, B Head. Took him a game to get going. We can see the beautiful touch off the wall. It's the instant flip into the oh. reset. Chronic with 100 boost. He doesn't even jump. He's not even ready in time. It's making it difficult for them to spread around the pitch the way that they were. First killer loose it to Torsos, who gets it top corner! The boys are back in town. Third goal on the board for Team Power. You can see the bumps coming through. First killer just, just pushed off the ball there by Banana Head. Torsos, the only one to recognize what was happening. Power, we're going to have the same old problems, but now, Genji, they want to get their second early goal. They want to make Power sweat, and Chronic manages it. This happens so often, though. Just when they get the gap, they free one up. And so many series on land, and then it's just an instant mistake. It's a simple mistake there, Fee's just missing that backboard touch. You try to control it. 
Back themselves, just get a goal through natural play without forcing things. Well, power oh, that to happen, maybe not, maybe. It just goes straight in from the pinch. Well, they find an easy one. I'm not sure how this even got to work. You can see Torsos, Chronic, Babs didn't want that, and it's the perfect bounce off the wall. Well, that is what they... It was a great save from Torsos with the zero boost. B-head again. He's got another reset. No he makes it. Goes... Oh! oh! B-head gets the fifth. T-Power have fully woken up, and they're loving it too. The man with the best name in Rocket League Esports of Banana Head. I asked you if Power were, you know, performing up to their own levels in that last game. You said no. Where does this stand on the par of Power? And this is them. This is them right here. And it starts with Banana Head, as we said. He was the OC MVP for a reason. Not sure why Gibbs is calling me out, trying to say that. Willing to take the shot. Well, he probably saw Banana Head's player banner in front of him. and knew he had the block and wait again out of nothing. Well, here we go again. You can see Chronic. He wanted that corner boost. But it was his worst enemy in the air because Fever just read him like a book. Team Power's in the way, and then Fever helps him out. Power are defending. Oh! <laughs> and everything is going their way. What on earth is that? Fever's just put his arms in the air, and he's not sure either. But it's a little bit of luck. Chronic accidentally skimmy dim dims it straight into his own net that could go wrong for the team in orange. He's just starting to go wrong. Apparently Jack, though, gets the pop and gets the goal. There we go, you can see Genji trying to lock back in. And it's Abjack with a little bit of individual brilliance. You can see all he had to do is get it around Torse. Open net coming through, the bumps as well, Chronic. So influential on Jack, though, so poised, able to get around one. And now Power have to back off. Have they opened it? Is it going to be open? It is. It was going to be off the post. And I believe Torsos has just guaranteed it to be in. I'm, I'm, he probably was in. That was going in. Could he have got around it, though? They're in time, though. Torsos keeping it in. 10 seconds. Bernard Head. He's got a shot on his oh. fist. It's wide. Oh. 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 Again. Oh. Team Power. Five seconds left. They've come up with something brilliant. Oh, man. They had to make us sweat. First, there was the open net miss. No, there wasn't. It was a pass. Then there was the wide shot. No, it wasn't. It was in off the post. Power had the lead. There's only five left for Gen G. Every shot, Gen G. <laughs> Gordon, it's a double fake. And they've read it. Fever has oh, read it. First killer. Keeping it up, though. Chronic's going to be able to sit there. But oh. T Power take the lead in the series. Here, yeah, right next to us as well. At Dickie's Arena. And they're looking so cold. They're looking at the fake coming through from Torsos. It's just got to be in. And that, Jack. Oh, oh. Well, I think he might have switched teams right there. Torsos creating so much. Having get 13 boosts. First killer didn't want it. He's missed. And Abjax put it in his own net. Torsos to one. On Utopia as well with CJ casting. They were more iconic duo than that. Torsos towards the Oh, no. Is a, oh, no. In defense for Genji. Banana heads in. And there's the big mistake. So much hard work defensively. All undone there. You could see Jack. He wasn't expecting FK to leave it. Jack had the home in touch. He goes to the sky, but Torsos is there for him. The pace that Torsos has shown, there's still so much life in him. In comes Fever. It's an OCE procession. 3-0, and they are not even celebrating right now. They are, we talk about cruise control. Serious now. Jim is nodding, he's smiling over there. The boys are locked in. They got... Hey, but there's the save, and that might just be it. He used all that boost yet again. The demos are raining in like fireworks. Torsos finishes them off. Power, they're going to go 1-0 in the Swiss, and look at what it means to them. Blow up your predictions. Blow up your tier list. Third RLCS game <laughs> on land. Might just be one of his best yet. It's Power 3-1, 4-0 game number four. I do like what I'm seeing from OG right now. People trying to stay fairly close to whoever's in front. I think they're recognizing that you're going to have to work together off this one, but it's not enough. Furia with the opening goal here in game one. It's Yan. Carries it all the way down, reset off the sidewall, and those follow-ups from Furia, I have a feeling, are going to be a ton seconds left on the clock here. Yan just playing time. Noli trying to take the ball back from them. This one bounces up. Noli pops it in the sky. He's got low boost. The most they can do is one oh. last shot. It's a hit to the ground. Fury. And that tied a pass from Noli to Jay Naps. Cut down by the KBMing Drafinio. And what a pinch! 
from the ceiling, backboard down, Com is there to strike. I love this. The, not only is it an insane wow. pinch and collect down low from Com, but just the... The ball, the one-two down again, but cut out by Jofino, and a huge overcommit. Where did the third man think he was going? I don't know. It was a hard cheat up here, but you don't even see Billy. third man. You barely saw the nose of their car go back, but Furia, quick and easy. Booth will take his time into the ceiling. This is Jane up to the back, bumped away by Jafinho. That is mean and rude and just not very polite, young man. I will be honest, this is just Furia giving OG a taste of their own menace, medicine, excuse me. You saw the bumps coming out from OG, but the same thing immediately happened to Furia. They not be forced onto match point they loss. There. I mean, you, you try your hardest to take it away, but like I said, Furia. The pitch from a nice redirect from Yan. Safe from Com is going to be keeping OG safe, but an interception from Yan again gives Fury the lead. Every single time, if that ball is not in your hands, it is falling straight into the nose of a Fury of car. Right on target, right past last man. 4.16 on the clock. Fury takes their lead, and they sit right where they have in, in the last two games. Comfortable and excited to keep going, but the follow-through after the bump. OG, finally, it's a quick response. And we see the kickoff in the replay as well. They try to go for a fake kickoff, but the chip over the top. Com goes top corner and then goes for the man. Lays it down. From Lost and Yan trying to find each other. He spots Lost, a small touch on it. The beat out from Jafinho oh! over to Lost. Goes in and Furia find their lead. My word. The read on this from Lost as he comes through. I don't know how you, you're, how the neurons fire fast. It's Yan to block. You're trying to sneak it in. Three seconds left on the clock here. If you can pop this one up, there's another chance for it, but it's in favor of Furia as this one goes to the corner. It pops up back into the air. Lost takes it. Down. He kills it. And Furia sweep OG Esports. Swiss to get a first goal. Can he get one against BDS as Oscar's trying to lead the charge? And Archie, call it when you see it. He picks up the first one for Oxygen. He's the wild card, but finally the ace up the sleeve. And what a beautiful setup from Oski. Backboard protected. Convergence from BDS to stop the push. Okay, well, BDS still have a chance to get going. Exotic air dribble bump. And Oski in a tough spot. Drawley the shot. And it does go in. BDS with a quick equalizer. Yes, a great response first. It's the dribble towards the net. Drawley grabs the side boost, has Archie in his shadow. Doesn't matter. Oski just had no boost. And that Archie, Monkey Moon goes for a shot. Oski reads it well. Exotic there. And that's an open it, net. It's in. Team BDS overcommitted. That's OT for Oxygen. And well done from Oxygen from that low, low boost 50 from Oski and Archie. Clear follow-up to send it all the way down the field. Making it high as Exotic will slow it down. Joyo could play this ball closer, but at least he can rely on Oski. And this just bounces in through everybody. Those challenges from Oski have been so good over the course of the series. He's third man in this play and just so quick to cut the ball away from Drolly. And then, of course, the defense not expecting it. The ball, but again, not always winning those 50s. It does come out to Drolly and Monkey Moon. Who can now take a shot and only one in that, and it goes through. There, there you go. And we talk about hitting the mark. Monkey Moon, his shooting has always been impeccable. You give him a free shot like that, it's always going to be a tough save. Bar down and off the hood of Oscar. Pressure. That's a situation they're used to being in as Monkey Moon tries to bump in the oh. net. The gaps, the weakness exposed, the BDS up again. Archie, you could see it. He didn't really expect that bounce off the post, and he got caught with his pants down. Drawley said that he will take that opportunity every day of the week. Up in time, and Oski, low boost challenge here. So now it could be a free ball for BDS. One, two, in your net! What a play for Team BDS! That is a fast one. 81 miles per hour, but it's the synergy on display. Look how 50. this 50s forces right to Oxotic and Oxygen. Always have someone in the net. Ways and carries it all the way down to midfield again. Yeah, BDS had people on all sides oh, and still miss. on possession, and big they turned around on them, and now Oxygen are within one. It bit. You see Drawley here. He's trying to turn back, and he just can't reach the ball in time. Thinks it's going in. The bounce out goes straight to Joyo, and it's an open net. 45. Goal. 
Now Exotic with a full tank. Archie still loses this, even with time on the ball. Draw lead to Exotic, it's open! Team BDS up by two. I mean, it's a great initial 50 to set it up. And that one just really gets away from Joyo. He's trying to see if he can get that follow-up touch. In the air, Joyo and Oski have boost to work with, but Oski can't stop the midfield. Here comes Trolley, but the nail in the coffin, the ball is still up. Joyo has Oski at the front. Exotic gets ready to oh, receive, and it's still open, RJ! At zero seconds, sneaks it through, but it is zero <laughs> seconds. It looked cool, though. It looked cool, though. <laughs> Great goal to cut the lead to one. <laughs> but if there was one second, you know? If there was just one more second. And they do figure out, okay, now we know what it takes to get past Oxygen. Let's just stay on the ball. And oh, maybe just play the whole 50. Monkey Moo, you didn't have to do it like that. It's off the kickoff like that, Arch. It probably just dodges that. Tempted. Oh, he got Joyo jumping. 2-1-2, two, two, and once you jump, you're committed, so. Just feels like BDS is just very, very comfortable. Monkey Moo going down. Fidari got one demo. Looking for two. Draw. He just has to roll it in the net, and he does. BDS back-to-back -back goals. BDS painting the town right on that one. Just all. It's a three-on-one. Look one. at Monkey Moo. He's Archie. chasing Archie. Archie's all the way on top of the net. Can't drop down in time. It's all three of those. I didn't mean literally. That was literally. I think they took it literally. Now Archie's demoed it. When it rains, it pours. Another one for BDS, another one for Monkey Moon here. Well, he, got, he assisted that first one, but look at this again. Oski in a tough spot. And this one, we're in that halfway point. Demo on the play again, and that'll send, oh, that's one, that's two. Toodaloo, and in your net, four goals from BDS. My goodness, every time it looks like Oxygen gets some space, BDS just bulldoze him out and just score the open. It's turning into a hemorrhage for sure. Seconds. And Oxygen are meeting 50 to 50, but not as necessarily generating any threat of anything. Oz, he's going to chase no them. No way. Then, and that opens it up for Monkey Moon. Monkey Moon had no boost on this entire play. Look, he tries to get the corner. He's still at zero. He got a 12 here. But again, it was exotic with the threat of the demo. It leaves up just enough of a lane for Monkey Moon. In BDS. It was a slow start for them into the series, but now they have the series on match point with a very dominant conviction. Connect the same way that Ox, uh, that Exotic and Monkey Moon what? are. But this Is goes all the way down! What a pitch from Large Oscar! Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> oh my god! In the net, Monkey Moon with the flick above. Big Oscar dropping it down and right! It still slips through! And Trolley makes an appearance! Oh man, look at this from Monkey Moon though. Great pop there. You saw Oski forced high, but no one was on the back wall. So Monkey gets an extra touch, hands it out to Drawley. He says, we can really unite with him on the front. It's Oski, and that being that midfielder that slows it down, and what you can't. BDS are too much. Look at this though. Exotic waiting downfield. He knows the pass is coming. And man, what a shot. Archie, he's expecting it to go off the nose. Exotic demos, but it's not working out. BDS will match blow for blow, punch for punch, and have knocked out Oxygen cold. But at least Oxygen showed signs of life. The ball is still, still up, up still though. Up. Archie's got full boost. They got Oxygen space. He's trying to get it up. Archie just hands it to Monkey Moon. Joyo can't keep it going. a team that have not been in this position for a very long time. Chicago with a flick, but he's saving. Hoxha, more pressure, more touches. And Hoxha, the opening goal versus Europe's resurgent blue wall. It started off with Chicago trying to drive it forward. He does, but Hawks are waiting in the wings. Territory from a Hawkser touch right there, but somehow SSG is still alive in this. Fake. He spots Fatira and he's through. KC's first goal on LAN since we saw them in Copenhagen. It has been a long time, but welcome back, boys. I just, I, you, when Carmi Corp get it. Low 50, maintaining that control. We've seen Gentlemates do it fantastically in Europe as well. I feel like it's all come from Fatira. Rise now, he's going to pick up on the pitch. And with 15 seconds left, Rise may well have stolen that lead. My goodness, the pinch out, but Rise right to him, almost like a magnet and completely low boost for all of SSG. The 
end of the series, we've not had any of those dramas so far with SSG. But you know what, I won't count them out. That's gonna be dropping low. That is a great way to be aware against how many shots Carmen Corp are inevitably going to be putting up. And there's another one, but this one, not defended, it's in their net. More loud shouting as well. Atto intelligently going into the corner and then bumping LJ. A play entirely concocted in the mind of the Bel I think Hawksbury's time has gone on, has definitely stepped up in a number of ways here. But unfortunately for them, right now, it just isn't enough. A Tau working together to get on through. 2-0 on the board. KC are back like they never left. Coming Corp very much just stepping in. Oh man, KC just has been on the tail of everybody. One. LJ sets up Hawkser though. At 30 seconds, SSG are back in the game. And you know what? A lot more composure on their cameras. No shouting, no trying to throw off KC. No trying to get in their heads, playing their own game, being very intense. LJ not over Vatira. Two seconds left on the clock. This one, if it hits the ground, Carmine Corp. Oh, Good play, match point, but the double is wide. Oh. Well, now he's trying to get in on the action there. Tried to get the pass over to him, didn't find it. A towel, though, for other reasons, will find his way through. Everybody had their eyes on Rise here. Hoxer, he can't do too much. LJ taps it on. Hoxer then suddenly looks, sees that Atto's there, has to chuck it in reverse. Can't quite get by. Not too worried. Gonna still take the chances they have, but Carmen Corp taking the shots and the opportunities of theirs. Here comes Rise. And that chip coming through with Rise. I'm pretty sure putting an L on his forehead and then looking over towards SSG, shouting, hollering and jeering. Whip it back, gets a beautiful touch round one, round two. Rise now central, Atto, demo on Hoxer. But when's the last time SSG made it out of their half? Who cares? Because Chicago's pinching it from his. What on earth? So LJ tried to like just keep it out, just get a touch on it, but right place, right time from Chicago. It's a crazy clear up field. They catch Carmen Corp. Keep it away from any orange player. LJ, control, space, time. Does he have the composure? This one's still up. A Tau takes it away. LJ, a little bit of boost to work with, but this clear could be deadly. It's caught by Chicago in the corner, still in play. Oh. Hawks are trying to keep their dreams alive as this one pitches oh. up. It's still going. Rise in a Tau. They spot each other. They want the ball dead, but oh LJ my. says no. He's still going oh past Batira towards the backboard. Oh. This one's floating in the corner in front of the net, but it's down. Carby Corp survive. Oh, my word. How many chances?